Hanati, I'm sorry, this is Zoom as usual. Yes, it's okay. I, I think... just wanted to ask you yes, I'm listening. about the word vegetarian. Mm -hmm. It's the same as vegan, right? Vegan, yes. I'm vegan. Yes, but what's the opposite of vegetarian? Yani if I want to eat and uh, to, to say that I'm not vegetarian, I'm... Ah, to be honest... If I eat meat, uh, do you know the, the word? No, I don't. Because I Google it, but I didn't find it. Ah, you didn't find anything? Mm. Uh, let me let me try my best. It's a good question, Hanadi. Uh, let me try to uh, ask. I didn't about... answer. I didn't hear the question. Yes, I about... think. Can you ask your friend? I was Hanadi? asking. Yes, I was asking uh, uh, about the opposite of uh, vegetarian or vegan. What's carnivore. the word? Do you, do you know? Carnivore. Ah, can it's you also it? used for for a human. No, I don't think so. Mm. Cannibal oh, for question. human, yes, we can uh, use it. Oh, we can. For humans, okay. which word? Which word? Sorry, carnivore. I was asking the opposite, the opposite of vegan or vegetarian. Yes, why? Why not? Uh, I think uh, we can uh, say it carnivores. Can you, can you spell because it? I know I know we can we use carnivore and herbivore for animals. I don't know if if it's uh, used also for people. Yes, that's amazing. Because if you eat uh, vegetables, mm. uh, you are not herbivore. You are vegan. Exactly. So this, this is uh, Hanadi, the point. I agree that's with why you. I'm happy. Because carnivore mm. guys is an animal that feeds yes, on the flesh. I think. I don't yes. uh, know if we can uh, uh, apply that to human. We can't, we can't. We can't. Can we or we can't? We c I we think cannot. that we can't. Mm. Uh, 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 let me let me try to search about that, uh, Hanadi. Okay. Mm, it's a good question. Maybe, maybe vampire, I think. Okay, let me search about this question. Sure. Vampire, do you know the meaning of vampire? I'm joking. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, um, I will try to Google that and ask my friends. Maybe okay. uh, they could give me a good answer. And it's a good question, okay. by the way. Uh, so I told you guys, let's stop talking about animals. Uh, and let's start talking, let's stop, and let's start talking about art. We noticed that our sense said, Football is an art, like dancing is an art. But only when it's well done, does it become an art or a real art. So our topic today is art. Absolutely, we have some vocab about art as usual. Let's try to discuss them. And uh, after that, absolutely, we have to discuss the idioms and we have a certain rule. Uh, finally, as usual, we have to go into details and practice the speaking uh, topic. Now, absolutely, all the vocab that we have here is about uh, art. Now, what is this word, which means colorful liquid, which is used to make pictures with? Paint. It is paint, exactly. Can you spell it to me? P A I N T. Uh -huh. Oh, bravo. Paint, that is it. So paint is a col colorful liquid, which is used to make pictures. Now the next word means a picture made with a pencil. Drawing. Drawing, a drawing exactly. So painting, a drawing. We notice that pen painting, guys, absolutely the difference between painting and the drawing. Painting consists colors, but drawing, if you notice, only with pencil, or let me call it colorless. So drawing, exactly. Now the third vocab is saying this one, which means a place you go to see art. Gallery. gallery. Yeah, can you spell it to me, please? G A uh -huh. A double L. Uh, bravo. E E R I E R I E R Y, e -R -Y. E -R -Y exactly. Yes. So, gallery, exactly, which is a place to go to see 
some art. Now, this word means a painting or a drawing of a person, usually only their head and shoulders. Portrait. Yeah, portrait, please. Can you spell it to me? Portrait. P-O-R. Ah, yes, P-O-R. T-R-A-I. T. T. R. Oh, bravo. A. I. And T. Portrait. Now, the next word is or means a great piece of art. The artist's best work. Masterpiece. 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 Exactly. And can you please spell it to me? M-A. Oh, bravo. Okay. S-T-E-R. Uh, bravo. Master. P-E. P-E. P-I-E. 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 C-E. Masterpiece. P -E. P -E. Exactly. This is it. Now, this word means the material a painting is painted on. Canvas. Yes. Canvas. canvas exactly. Can you please spell it? C-A-N-V-A-S. Uh -huh. oh, exactly, canvas. So this is it, a piece or a material a painting is painting on. The final word means a special method which an artist may use. Technique. Technique, exactly. Can you please spell it? T E. Ah, bravo. T E C H. Okay. N I. N I. Q. E Q. U. U. E. Exactly. So technique. It is a special method the artist may be use or may use. So these are the good vocabularies about art. Now let's talk about idioms. Try the best, guys to use idioms as much as you can. Because idioms, using idioms, uh, will mean that you are a good speaker and absolutely a good writer. Okay, we have in the box here, board, picture, town, book, and line. Now, all of it, number one, all of it is an idiom. A, something is worth a thousand words. A picture, maybe? A picture is worth a thousand words so if you can see a good painting if the painting is really good you can say a picture is worth a thousand words amazing or means too much now two maybe he's nice don't judge a by its cover a book, oh, a book. don't judge a book by its cover don't be a fast judge. Now three, I'll give him one more chance, but we have to draw A somewhere. Line? Draw a line, exactly. We don't we see anything. I don't see ah, anything. Holy God, I'm sharing my screen. Let me do it again. We can see. Zoom. We you, can oh, see. Oh, that's fine for me also. Wait, let me share I, my screen again. So it's my problem. Maybe the internet is not that stable, uh, Rima. It is Miriam. Ah, Miriam, Miriam. I'm sorry. Um, no is problem. It? But uh -huh. maybe I have to uh, to get out and. Uh, Ah, it's not okay yet. Okay, you can go out and come back. Okay. Uh, maybe a problem happened to the application. It's something usual. Okay, I have it now. Okay. So we notice here, guys, the sentence is saying, I will give him one more chance, but we have to draw a line. To draw a line is to put the limits. Again, the meaning of a draw a line to put a limit or limits about something or situation or something like that. Now the next sentence, it's my birthday. So we're going to, or we're going out to paint the 
went. Town. Uh, yes, um. paint the town went. Guys, if you have a party and you want to dance, a drink, sing, shout, you have to say paint the town went. So again, if you have a party and you want to drink, dance, shout, sing, be happy. So this idiom, which is saying paint the town with, let's paint the town with, let's dance, let's drink and yeah, something. Enjoy, like. enjoy to the yeah, maximum. Exactly, yeah. thank you. So enjoy yourself to the maximum. Finally, the boss didn't like it. So I'm afraid it's back to the drawing board. Board. board back to the drawing board let's go back from the beginning let's try again after we failed so if you want to do a mission or job and you fail you want to start over you want to start again after failing specifically after failing you have to say let's back to the drawing board let's start from the beginning again Exactly. Okay. So again, these idioms are extremely important if you want to use them in your daily life. Okay, so this is it about uh, 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 idioms. Now, if you want to take a look at the grammar bit that we have, we can read that the Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci in the uh, 16th century. It was stolen from uh, this place till the end of the sentence. Who could tell me why here I used was plus verb three? Was plus verb three. And again, was a plus verb three. What is this? A past perfect. Mm. Ah, it's not past perfect, because past perfect, we have to use had. Passive, yes. passive. Yeah. Passive, passive, passive voice. voice. Amazing. Passive, passive voice, passive voice. Yes. exactly. So notice, guys, that the writer, instead of saying Leonardo painted the Mona Lisa, he said the Mona Lisa was painted by... By. Le exactly. So this is passive voice. Guys, believe me, Two lessons are extremely important if you want to be a professional. Again, not only in writing, but also in, in speaking. Especially, especially if you are making or uh, uh, writing an essay in the IELTS exam, or if you have an interview, two lessons are extremely important, which are passive voice and reported speech. I don't know if you have the full idea about using the passive voice. Do you? Can we practice it? Yes, yes we yes. can. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. Let me tell you guys two reasons why we have to use passive voice. First of all, as I told you, if you are talking in general, and if you want to be that professional, if you don't want to be naive, you can use the passive voice. This is number one. Number two, sometimes the doer, or let me say the subject is clear. Because the subject is clear, we don't have to mention it. For example, let's imagine that Rima, as usual, go to work by car. Every day, she drives her car to go to work. Suddenly, or one day, when she goes down just to go to work, she discovers that her car was stolen. Okay, now... Absolutely, Rima is going to shout in the street, guys, guys, my car, she is going to say that my car is stolen. Okay, let me tell you something. The original sentence, guys, that the thief, the thief stole my car. Now, if you want to ask me why, it is something normal because we can notice that the thief is the subject, the stole is the verb. And car is the object. So, I know, so we have uh, to, to we we miss an, an S here. Uh, no? Stole is the simple person. past of a steal. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. 
اوكي 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 ناو ليت مي اسك ذيس كويستشن جايز ليش ريما لما بدها تصرخ ليش ما بتقول جايز الحرامي سرق سيارتي ليش بتقول السياره سرقت طب ليش ما ما بتشير للفاعل يعني ليش نحن ما بنشير للفاعل يلي قام بالفعل لانه اكيد الحرامي يلي سرق اه برافو يعني, يعني اكيد مش حيجي دكتور برافو Bravo, bravo, exactly. So this is the second reason by using the passive voice. Absolutely, the thief who stole your car. It's, it's not a doctor is, go, is going to steal your car or a it nurse, for example. It is not my example. neighbor or uh, my son. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. So sometimes, guys, the subject is extremely clear because it is clear you don't have to mention it at all. So you can say, my car is stolen. Notice that my car is stolen. The subject, the subject is missing. This is passive voice. In Arabic, we can call it al-mabni al-majhul. Baynama sentence number two, al-mabni al-ma'lum. Another example. Let's imagine that Hanadi went out of the country to uh, 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 work abroad for 10 years. لما رجعت هنادي اتفاجأت بوجود جسر كبير بجانب منزل هنادي. اوكي، هلا هنادي حت اكيد حتعبر عن المفاجأة، فبدها تقول ات الجسر بني فور اكزامبل اي كان سي ذا بريدج اها ذا بريدج برافو ذا بريدج واز بيلت. اوكي، ناو واي هنادي جايز Doesn't going to say the boulders build the bridge. The boulders built the bridge. Why we can feel that it's something? Because everyone. Amarabo. <coughs> because everyone what? No. No. And evidence. Oh, bravo. So absolutely not the doctors are going to build the bridge. Not the nurses or engineers. So all of us know that the boulders. Uh, are the people who built the bridge. So this is the second reason why we have to use passive voice is number one, just to be professional, not to use the same order of the sentence all the time, all the time. We have to paraphrase in certain ways. Second, the subject is clear. The subject is very clear. In this way, it will be something silly if you want to mention the subject. So we have to say the bridge was built because all of us know that the boulders uh, who built the bridge. But guys, if you want to use the passive voice, absolutely, you have to be careful because you have to apply three rules. Let me write the three rules. Please remember the three rules all the time because if you apply these three rules, you will make any active to passive voice. Rule number one, you have to write the object in the beginning of the sentence. You have to mention, let me not say why, because it's not writing, mention the object in the beginning of the sentence. Object in the beginning. This is number one, in the beginning. Rule two and the most important one, 90% of the students commit horrible mistakes in rule number two, which is keep the tense. Don't change it at all. Keep or maintain the tense. This is number two. Number three, and absolutely it is extremely important, write the verb three. Write the verb three, or let me call it the past participle or the perfect of the main verb, of the main verb okay maybe maybe you are still confused let me write a very simple example and let me apply the three rules that you don't have to forget at all if i want to say for example sarah cleans the room cleans the room okay now let's take a look at rule number one we notice that we have to write the object in the beginning what is the object The room. The room. The room. Oh, bravo. So the room. This is number one. Number two, and please be careful, you have to keep the tense. If you want to keep is, the tense, ah, bravo. You have to decide cleaning. the tense. Decide it first, please. Cleans is simple present. Because it is simple present, you have to use is, um, are. This is number yes. one. 
Yes. Number two is yes. why is why not R? Because Sarah. Yes. She. No, I'm not talking about Sarah. I'm talking about the room. Singular. singular. The object is singular. Ah, bara with the object is singular. So the room is what is rule three? Cleaned. 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 Oh, bravo. Cleaned. Now, what if instead of having the room, I have the rooms? Arcade. Ah, bravo. So it's not about the subject. It is about the object. Yes. Okay. So is um R please if it is in the present. So please, if you notice that these three steps are extremely important. Now, what if it is, or what if this example is in the simple past? For example, Sarah cleaned the room. Was cleaned. Ah, bravo. The, room was, the cleaned. room was cleaned. Exactly. The room was cleaned. Okay. Some people ask me, Karen, can I mention the subject? You are free to mention the subject or not. You can um, mm -hmm. write by Sarah. If you don't want to mention the subject, it is up to you because it is originally called the passive voice. So we know Even if we know the subject? Yes, it is. Even if we know uh, yes, the subject, we cannot do uh, okay. Ah, if you In know France, the subject. We cannot do, do that. Ah, wait, uh, uh, guys. If the subject is known, is extremely known, you don't have to mention it at all. As we said in boulders and thief uh, or something like that, you don't have to mention it at all because we know the mm -hmm. subject. Okay. So the room was cleaned by Sarah. So we notice that in, in the simple present, we have to use is Amar, but in the simple past, you have to use uh, was or what. What if I have rooms? Rooms were, the rooms were uh, cleaned by Sarah. The rooms were cleaned. So uh, 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 these are the most important rules you have to keep uh, in mind just to be able to uh, transform any active to passive. Let's stop here and absolutely we have to complete. It's not the end. Guys, let me tell you something. One secret, one secret, why I succeeded in most of the interviews and why I got a high band in IELTS exam is using the passive voice. So mm -hmm. it is, I think now you are advanced uh, English uh, speakers. So you have to use the passive voice as much as you can because in certain places you have to paraphrase in other places you have to summarize. You cannot use the same order all the time of the sentence. Try to use passive voice just to be that professional. Okay. okay. So Thank absolutely you. we're going to complete the next class. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Thank you. It's okay. okay. So let me thank you so much and let me wish a good night for you. Thank you so thank much you. for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Good night for you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.